Okay. Oh, damn. But the posterior. Um, guys, it's it's not spoiled. If I'm no no no, there, there was no spoils in chat at all. No, that was that was. We can kind of, I mean, just from what we've heard, you can kind of assume it's going that direction. Yagami-san. Yeah, it's hmm? it's not a spoiler. We're good. Have you seen Mafia lately? Well, where's this coming from? She's just not that great with men. I suggest you be more assertive. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, you mean that friend of yours, Sarikun? She's got Shintani all riled up. Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. <laughs> Jackass. Yeah, for hey. the record, it looked like Emmy. And also, I'm I, it, the game made a point of zooming into her name tag. And I don't know Japanese kanji, but I'm assuming it said her name was Emmy Terasawa on her name tag. So, can anyone confirm that? That could read the name tag? Out of curiosity? Oh, no, no. Chad is saying it just said Terasawa. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, nothing's official yet, guys. Regardless, keep it on the down low, okay? Yet? That word says more than you think. <laughs> Damn, Sayori. Okay, okay. No, 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 it wasn't a spoiler. It wasn't a spoiler. It's fine. Again, the, the line of him saying like, oh, I don't have a girlfriend, need a girlfriend, that, is, that assigns A, that he doesn't have a girlfriend right now, and he murdered his girlfriend in a couple years, and B, the game's clearly telling us she was interested in him, so that makes perfect sense. Yeah, not a spoiler. Chill. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I can't leave. Let's go talk to him. I'll keep my lips sealed. Oh, my. Oh, my. Lemonade says it's a major revelation later. Well, we got a major hint right Mafia now. Mafia Kuhn's so. a prosecutor, right? Not the first time. Isn't it kind of taboo for her to date a defense attorney? Can we not do this? Ooh. Either way, guess the Okobo case comes first. Pleading innocent, yeah? That's the plan. What is your plan here? This isn't going to be an easy win. Well, I'm working on that. There's one piece of evidence that still bothers me. Yeah. And what's that? What should I focus on if I want to prove Okubo's innocent? I mean, the big thing is he has no motive, but... This kind of proves Okabu, because he could have gotten him out. This proves that the fluids are in the back of his car. Which proves that he transported it, but not that he murdered him. Um... The window doesn't open, so no one could have gone through it. Okay. A view of Waku's hospital room is seen through the window of the hallway door. His bed pillow is located on the left side of the mattress. I think the fact that the cause of death remains unknown is kind of telling. I don't think this is it, though. This is Wakusan, the victim. Let's see. Maybe. Suffocation is the apparent cause of death. They yeah. still haven't okay. nailed it down conclusively. Okay. As for his body, it was found buried in the mountains of Okutama. And Okubo's the one who told him where it was, right? Mm -hmm. As I've seen, he's admitted to that much, at least. Mm -hmm. Yes, but he insists he didn't commit the murder. Maybe so, but you're gonna need evidence if you want to prove it. They find anything on the body? Maybe something that give our man an alibi? No, nothing like that. Well, that's a shame. Well, that's not my point, though. The evidence I showed you is... That evidence won't win you the case. What the hell's your problem? Was that Shintani? I think so. Get back here! <laughs> Uh, that bastard. Oh, it's 
eavesdropping on you. What the hell? Ugh. I tried to stop him, but... Ugh. He pulled a stun gun on me. Ugh. Hey! It's a lady! Wait up! That's a lady run, chat! That's a lady run. You won't get away. Is it? It's probably Terasawa, isn't it? It's freaking Terasawa. Hold up. Oh God! Now. Won't get away. Woo. Oh, my God. So what are you doing? A woman. Help! Someone help me! Aren't you Terasawa-san? Let me go! We got a groper out here? Scum of the earth! <laughs> Not on my watch, you son of a bitch! Wait. But these street thugs are being kind of cool. I don't want to beat them up. They're being good dudes. They're defending the poor woman. This is okay. Can we talk this out or something? Oh, come on. I, I'm, I am the dick in this situation, for the record. These guys are just trying to stop the nice woman from being broke. Oh, no. Why am I a better fighter in the past than I am during, like, in the normal time? My lord. About time I got hit. Oh, I don't have my moves from the other. Okay, that makes sense. And he's gone. Oh, look at my tiny little health bar. It's so cute. Can all lawyers fight like that? Hey, girl. <laughs> you got some splaining to do. Kodosama says, Terasawa booty. Hey, you slow Did down you really there, need buddy. To run away like that? I assume you came to see me. There was something I wanted to talk to you about, yes. But I wasn't sure if I should. Then that pig-headed friend of yours started shouting, so I just lost it. I would have zapped okay, him, too. did you have to tase him? Not that he didn't have it coming. Anyway, I'm listening if you want to talk. No matter what it is, I'll keep your secret. Anything you tell me will fall under client's attorney privilege. Let me just get a little drinky first. Well, you know the witness who last saw Wakusan? Said he saw him sleeping in his bed. Uh-huh. Well, that witness is a man by the name of Shonosan. He's one of the scientists at the ADDC. Not only that, but he's the director's right-hand man, too. Oh. This is him? That guy. We saw him in the current day, walking next to the director. Yes. 
He's a very dedicated doctor, so the nurses have a lot of faith in him. Hmm. But something felt off when I heard what he had to say about the incident. And what's that? I guess I'm just skeptical as to whether or not he actually saw Wakusan. I don't think he's intentionally deceiving us, but he may be mistaken somehow. And if I had to guess, I'd say the other nurses feel the same. So somebody Still, was in the why bed. Why hasn't anyone mentioned this until now? But not Waku. How could we? Nurses talking about a doctor behind his back? That's not something a nurse could do without consequences. And if it came to a courtroom testimony... None of you would testify? Maybe the other nurses wouldn't, but I would. I never really fit in over there anyway. Besides... Yeah? I think Okubo-san is innocent. Oh, really? Sounds like I've finally got an ally on my team. I'm currently employed as a researcher at the Advanced Drug Development Center. Part of our research consists of clinical tests we perform on patients in the general ward of the center. Oh, we can on use the, the day window. Of the crime, I was making my usual rounds through the ward. Yeah, we're going to we're going to use the window evidence to say that he couldn't have confirmed the face, and that's going to throw and out what his time testimony. Was that? Around 7:50. You're sure? Yes. The patients eat breakfast at precisely 8 o'clock. I always head to the break room myself, uh, right around then, too. This break room, to be precise? That's correct. Our more mobile patients walk there for breakfast instead of eating in their own rooms. Then, while the nurses help the patients eat, I ask about how they feel and how the medicine is treating them. And on the day of Wakusan's disappearance, you pass by his room before going to the break room? Yes. And in that room, you saw Wakusan lying on the bed? Yes. Can you describe the situation to us as you remember it? The Hold on, I'm loading window, my truth bullet. So you can see into the room from the hallway. Okay. And this is the room you're referring to, yes? That's correct. From where I was standing in the hallway, I could see Wakusan lying in bed. Objection! Asleep, with a blanket covering most of his body. And what time was that? Around 7.50. No further questions. No, that's wrong! <sighs> Yagami-sensei. Why did you call her to the stand? She actually asked to testify. Is that a problem? Not really, no. Hmm, here's my chance for a comeback. Terasawa-san, you were present for Shono-san's testimony just now, yes? Yes. And what is your opinion on that testimony? For a scientist, I felt his wording was rather imprecise. And as a medical hmm. professional, I felt his actions were negligent. Hmm. Could oh. I ask you to be a little more specific? Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Wakusan sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. However, there's no way he could have known that just by looking in from the hallway. Apparently she's doing my I work have for me! Supporting Terasawa-san's testimony. Please look at this. It's a photograph of the victim's room as viewed from the hallway. In other words, this is what Shono-san would have seen when he checked in on Wakusan. All the evidence points to this fact. Shono-san was lying when he said he saw Wakusan in the bed. Excuse me? What he saw from the door was likely nothing more than a bulge of sheets. 
he couldn't have been able to identify it specifically as Wakusan. So to claim as much in his testimony seems like quite an exaggeration, don't you think? But common sense would dictate otherwise, would it not? Who would be in the bed other than Wakusan? The staff nurses are trained to always enter a room when checking in on a patient. In Wakusan's case, it's impossible to tell anything just by looking in from the hallway. There was actually one time a while back where we thought he was under the covers, only to find Wakusan eating in the break room a second later. And upon re-examining the room, we realized that we had mistaken a bunched up pillow for Wakusan. The witness makes an important distinction. The prosecution asserts that Shonosan's testimony is clear, that the victim was taken out of his room at some point between 7.50 and 8.30 in the morning. They claim that because of this time frame, the defendant must have smuggled Wakusan's body out in his laundry bin. That is why Oku, uh, Okubukun was assumed to be the only person who could have killed Wakusan. But if Shonosan's testimony is invalid, as the defense asserts, we have to consider the possibility that Wakusan was taken in the middle of the night when nobody else was around. After which, the killer could have waited until the morning to plant the body in the defendant's truck. In other words, the defense establishes that there is reasonable doubt that Okubo-san is the killer, rendering the prosecution's central argument unsound. Your Honor, taking this new testimony into account, I'd like to call Shono-san back to the stand for cross-examination. Damn! Just like, boom, boom, boom! <laughs> Locked in. Shono-san. Yes? Thank you, Spun Gizzles with the 17 months. Appreciate that. Corvus Sway with the three years and Kuma Show with the one year. Really appreciate it, guys. Let's see how Shono responds with that evidence in Terasawa-san's ter uh, testimony out in the open. I'll get right to the point. On the day of the crime, what did you see when you looked into Wakusan's room? I saw Wakusan asleep in his bed, I think. And did you get a clear look I at his think. face? I don't remember. Which means So no. it's possible that it could have been someone other than Wakusan in that bed. Or maybe even a pillow that you mistook to be Wakusan's body. Isn't that right? Objection! The defense is leading the witness. Sustained. Please rephrase the question. Shono-san, can you say without a doubt that Wakusan was in that bed when you checked on it? I... I don't think I can, no. Bam! Then the defense rests. But I do have a quick remark for the prosecution. Huh? The prosecution's argument has fallen apart. Now to go in for the kill. The charges against my client stem from your assertion that he's the only possible suspect, assuming the crime took place within the stated time frame. However, the defense has proven without a doubt that Shono-san's testimony is unreliable, establishing reasonable doubt for my client. I would suggest then, that you withdraw the charges against my client. With such inconclusive evidence, you'll only be wasting the court's precious time. The prosecution does not consider the witness's testimony inconclusive. His memory of the incident may be fuzzy, yes, but that doesn't change that he fuzzy? saw the victim. So he said he couldn't case remember. Is based on a fuzzy memory, this promising young man's future is at stake, and you're willing to throw that away on unreliable testimony? Dr. Shono is a bright and diligent researcher. After watching his own grandmother develop dementia, he vowed to create a drug that could it cure doesn't the matter. disease. It doesn't matter. After paying his own way through medical school, he went on to become the head researcher at the ADDC. None of this matters. Day after day. Dr. Shono visits his sick patients out of the kindness of his heart, leading to his valiant testimony here today. If you want to know whether I trust this man, then my answer is a resounding yes. He doesn't In trust himself! Words, because he's such a great researcher, his testimony is infallible. His own admission that he's not sure is somehow overlooked? Is that the sum of it? <sighs> Because from here, it sounds like you're putting your faith in Shono-san's title, not his testimony today. The prosecution is not as easily swayed as you think. And you want to talk reputation? What of your client's history of domestic abuse? Nothing to do with this. Nothing. Uh-oh, he's going to bring up Okubo's record. What? That, 
This has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> this is completely irrelevant. Six years ago, the defendant broke his girlfriend's finger. Can we say objection? Still is there a button for, the for objection? And the cause? A minor drunken disagreement. Now, fast forward to what occurred a few days prior to the crime. Wakusan, suspecting the defendant of stealing his wallet, lashed out and punched the defendant in the face. We can't prove that. Given the clearly violent nature of Okubo-san here, that alone would be motivation enough to murder the poor old... Is something wrong, ma'am? Please remain seated while court is in session. Terasawa-san? Okubo-san is not a violent person. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. Not a single drop since the incident. My court will not stand for this commotion. He didn't blame Wakusan at all. He knew that the outburst was just caused by his dementia. That it was all the sickness's fault. So there was no reason for him to resort to murder. Terasawa-san, please. Okubo-san really is an incredible, caring person! Please leave this courtroom at once. You're right that he may be hard to approach, but he's a kind soul, and he always keeps his promises. Okubo-san's not the only person in this courtroom who would be affected by a guilty verdict, either. As a matter of fact, it would break my heart. And even through it all, he wanted me to keep this a secret! Not to tell anyone, not even his lawyer, that we were dating! Even though he knew he could have ended up in prison, making sure I was safe was the only thing in the world he cared about. That's just who he is! But when the prosecution has already decided he's a criminal, how could he possibly be given a fair trial? <sighs> Damn. <laughs> but that's there goes the Her case. The <laughs> outburst wasn't technically admissible. Yeah. But as the trial dragged on, it hung over the jury like a stone. And in the end, Shinpei Okubo was found not guilty. Dude, but that only makes a month the after his release. Yeah. Everything changed. That's so tragic, dude. So now we know that someone else did this. The same girl who had so bravely proclaimed Okubo's innocence died by the man's own hand. No, he didn't. Nope. Nope. Stop. You stop saying that, Yagami! You know better! You know better! Come on! Jeez. Kill him, bruh! I know, so many twists! Hi. This game is awesome, isn't it? Something wrong? No, it's nothing, Vice Minister. Oh. But, I haven't seen you in about three years, Kido-san. I see you're still the director. You look familiar, but I can't quite place the name. I seem to recall you looking sharper. I'm a detective based in Kamurocho now. The name's Yagami. Ah. I remember now. You're the reason Terasawa-kun's no longer with us. <laughs> remember, Shono? Okubo-san was unstoppable. If only my testimony had been better. Shono-san, right? Does it matter? What brings you here anyway? Better? I'm investigating a murder. And I'll need your cooperation with it. Just like old times. If only my testimony had been better. What a weird word to use for that, huh? Yes, I see. Yes. Thank you. It does seem we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. The same Shono-san you were just with? 
Why would Shintani call Shono? Yes. However, it's unclear as to what the point of the call was meant to be. Shono was away from his desk at the time, you see, and Shintani-san didn't leave a message. You have no idea what he wanted to talk about? None. Shono says he doesn't know a Shintani-san, and sees no reason why he would be calling. Oh, really? Look, Shono and I co-authored the research paper on AD-9. We're quite well known, as it turns out. Sometimes, complete strangers pretend to be close friends or relatives in order to contact us. Perhaps Shintani-san fell into that category. Have you heard of the mole murders taking place in Kamurocho, Dr. Kido? Three Yakuza, each one with their eyes gouged out. It's a grisly business. Shintani was killed in the same way. I've seen the news. Can you think of anything tying the ADDC to those murders? Huh? Look, just what are you implying? Look, I believe we're done here. There's nothing I can help you with. Please stop! You can't! Who are you? Detective Kuroiwa, Kamuro Police, Organized Crime. One of your guests here has information related to the case I'm currently investigating. That would be you, Yagami. Hmm? I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintan. Is that so? Damn! Alright then. Whew! My lord, dudes. It just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. It just keeps going. The mole's latest victim was the lawyer, Shintani. The last call he made brings the case that ruined Yagami three years ago back to the surface. A patient was taken from a hospital and found buried in the mountains. Yagami defended the suspect, Shinpei Okubo, and got an acquittal. But one month later, he murdered his girlfriend, Emi Terasawa, with a kitchen knife and burned the remains. Nope! Collusion. I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintani. Is that so? I'm Hoshino, an attorney at Genda Law Office. Officer, is this interview voluntary, or...? It is. It's your call, Yagami-san. I think I'll pass. Excuse me? You have your answer, sir. You can go now. Get out of here, make Matt. this easier if you come now. Next time, it won't be voluntary. Your empty threats don't mean much to a lawyer. Can you take this elsewhere? I really must be... Too bad he's not a lawyer anymore, then. Your friend's nothing now. Just come along quietly. I'll come back with a warrant if I have to. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Why do you suspect me, anyway? I bet you don't even have a reason. I can come up with a few good ones. Enough! Get the hell out of my office! That guy must be so pissed. Do you have any idea who I, I am? regret this, Yagami. <laughs> Roy was on. <sighs> you two, out. Before we go, can we speak to Shono-san for a sec? We need to know why Shintani called him. Listen. I already told you he doesn't know. Get it through your skull. Now, please leave. No problem. I like how this guy just we'll let you get back to work. Talks on behalf of the other guy. Man, what a jackass, dude. What a jackass. <laughs>